Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm back again. Um, I don't think I mentioned today. It's Monday, March the 15th. It's 9.58 a.m. And I want to bring to you some of the messages that came in Dawn's newsletter on March the 13th. So, it's just a couple days late. I think these are good uh they're always short these people that submit regularly most of them are very good and I'm sorry I had been withholding them uh, for some reason they're, they hadn't been very popular but if you read them and take them to the Lord I think you'll find out they're coming from the Lord Lord forgive me for uh, just deleting these and not sharing them before I have been okay this first one is small straws in a soft wind by Marsha Burns I am well aware that you have been in the doldrums and that it has been more difficult to think and be aware of the nuances in your surroundings the doldrums here I'll look that up just to um, definition of doldrums a state or period of inactivity stagnation or depression the mortgage market this is an example the mortgage market has been in the doldrums for three years it's that would be inactivity or stagnation uh, stagnant not going anywhere okay it's just not doing much okay so that's doldrums all right let's see and that it has been more difficult to think and be aware of the nuances in your surroundings this phase oh, here let me do this Siri what is the definition of nuances as a noun it means a subtle difference in or shade of meaning, expression, or sound. A subtle Do you want to hear the remaining one? Uh, sure. As a verb, it means give nuances to. A subtle difference in or shade of meaning, expression, or sound. Or as a verb, to give nuances to. I hate it when they use the word in the definition don't y'all anyway that's what Siri says AI you know I use it once in a while okay this phase of what seems to be sleepwalking will soon be a thing of the past as you begin to awaken now I hope that most of us, I'm sure there are some that this pertains to, but I hope that most of us are not in that state. Uh, I know I have been thinking that at times, that it doesn't seem like things are happening, at least not like what I thought. It seemed like First of all, like we'd be out of here by now and then the Antichrist would be on the scene and the war and the other, you know, seals would be pretty much happening right at the same time or right behind each other. And we'd be back helping people through that. You know, it just seems like we'd already been there, but we're more like in a state of the calm before the storm sometimes, you know? Okay, so that's that's how I'm thinking of it. Okay, you leave your comments of what you think it means. All right. <clears throat> this phase of what seems to be 
sleepwalking will soon be a thing of the past as you begin to awaken. Know that you are not alone and that many are enduring a similar annoyance. Rest in the hope of better things. The scripture put with it is Hebrews 6, 9. But, beloved, we are confident of better things concerning you. Yes, things that accompany salvation, though we speak in this manner. Okay, I'm not sure why they use that verse. We are confident of better things concerning you. Yes, things will get better. Things that accompany salvation. Though we speak in this manner. Okay, I guess I can see that. Okay. <clears throat> this one's kind of different from the way the Lord talks, but maybe not. Put up March 12th. <coughs> there are many ideas that pop up in your head. I frequently say that. This thought just popped into my head. How many of you have said that? Some are from me and some are just wishful thinking. You know from the past that this is so. Wait a minute. You know from the past that this is, so you are asking, so what should I do? I am glad you asked. This will save you a lot of mental and emotional energy. Hold all these before me. Hold them lightly but with belief, I will show you which are from me. When you hear from me, go confidently. So Jesus is saying not everything that pops into your head is from him. Pray about it. Like, we should move to California. Or, okay, not California. Say you're in California. We should move to, um, what's mid-century? Mid-century. <laughs> center of the country. Somewhere in the center of the country. All right. Say Mississippi. <laughs> Arkansas. There you go. Or where the Ozarks are. Is that Arkansas? Well, anyway. Let's just say you get that thought in your head. And you wonder, was that the Lord telling me to move to Arkansas? You better pray about that. Okay. That could have come from you. Could have been because you heard a video a month ago talking about how wonderful the Ozarks are. I'm thinking they're in Arkansas. I could be wrong. Ozarks, Nebraska. Anyway, doesn't matter. Whatever ideas pop into your head, hold them lightly and take them to the Lord. Okay, he says, I will show you which are from me. When you hear from me, go confidently. Now, you will know when you hear from the Lord. He, make, he usually makes it clear that it's him because he'll end with, this is your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, or something of that nature. You'll know it's him talking, not just an idea popping in. Romans 11.36 from the New King James Version says, For of him and through him and to him are all things, to whom be glory forever. Amen. All right, I'm skipping this one. All right, we're going on to this next one. And there's no name with it. I don't see a name. Okay, it was also put up March 12th. 
You feel as if a setback has happened. Everything around you is indicating that a relapse has occurred. Despite what your eyes see and your ears hear, I encourage you not to jump to foredrawn conclusions. Foredrawn. Okay. Many a believer has thrown in the towel prematurely because they became impatient and gave up entirely too soon. Boy, that happened a lot. Back in 2013, there were so many people talking about that Thanksgiving, uh, something was going to happen. And it, it wasn't even giving the year, but everybody believed it was that Thanksgiving. Well, nothing happened, and people just flat out quit took down her YouTube channels and went away. Well, I'm still waiting to see what happens on Thanksgiving. Hopefully, we'll be out of here. And I just don't know. We just don't know. People do hear from lying spirits. Well, I know that for a fact. Okay. Um. So, what if you see some... How, let's see, how should I say this? So what if you see some sort of decline? Buckle up your bootstraps and believe for the best outcome possible. James 5, verse 11 from the Voice Bible says, Look, we bless and honor the memory of of those who persevered under hardship. Remember how Job endured and how the Lord orchestrated the triumph of his final circumstances as a grand display of his mercy and compassion. Yeah, that Job's a good example. He lost everything but his wife who was telling him to... Uh, Forget God and die. Just give up and die already, you know. He was sitting out there scraping boils off his skin with a rock. He was a mess, but he hung in there. He believed God would come through and make it all right. Moving on. Next one was put up March 13th. Sometimes what you need is a good cry. Pinning up your emotions is not a good route to take. For some, getting in touch with their emotions is hard to do because their feelings have been suppressed for far too long. Little boys are taught from an early age that big boys don't cry. How many of you men have a hard time crying? When that's what you need the most. That is a bunch of nonsense. And sometimes 10, um, sorry, leads to them having a hardened heart. Allow your heart to react to sensitive matters. I know what he's saying. When you have... You have to harden your heart to not let yourself cry because your frog just died. Big boys don't cry. Look, that's a big deal to a little kid to get a frog and he takes care of it and he's doing the best he can. And, and then he goes in there one morning and his frog is dead. I mean, he might have gave too much to eat. He might have not give it enough of some, who knows. Things like that happen, and they're, they're crying, and their dad says, Oh, come on now, son. It'll be all right. Big boys don't cry. Because he can't stand to see his son cry, because he couldn't cry. You know what I'm saying? Allow yourself to cry, guys. It really helps sometimes. Now, you can overdo it. 
you don't want to sit around bawling. You know, I, I was I was doing that when my buddy died. I cried a lot, but I was in mourning. He was, he was, you know, and I know you all felt the same, but there comes a time when you got to stop. Turn your feelings over to the Lord and move on. So there is a balance there. There's always a balance when it comes to the Lord. Okay, so anyway, for big boys not to cry, that is a bunch of nonsense and sometimes leads them to having a hardened heart. Allow your heart to react to sensitive matters. Yes, that is how you keep a soft heart. We must keep a soft heart, not a hardened heart. The Psalm 34, verse 15 in the EXB Bible. I don't know what that is, but this guy likes to use all kind of Bibles. The Lord sees the parentheses, the eyes of the Lord are on, closed, or their brackets, good. The Lord sees the good, and in brackets, righteous, closed brackets, people. So the Lord sees, the eyes of the Lord are on. Oh, I see. It's like, I, I, yeah, the eyes of the Lord are on good righteous people and listens to their prayers and then in brackets his ears attend to their cries for help isn't that kind of like the message bible or uh, no the uh oh that other there's another one like it and this was given to kevin robinson all right now this next one is was put up March 12th. I see a sign that says, quote, wrong turn up ahead, unquote. Wrong turn up ahead? Okay, that doesn't make sense to me. I want you to be very careful with your decisions in the near future. The enemy has a trap planned for you. Boy, doesn't he? It's already in progress. And I want you to be careful with your choices. Hold my hand and I will guide you through this trap. Remember the best ploy of the enemy is deception so what looks right may not always be right listen look and obey the verse given is matthew 24 4 in the new king james version and jesus answered and said to them Take heed that no one deceives you. And this was given to Robin Robinson Bolin. March 13, 2021. This one is the last one. Nothing is facing you that I have not given you the favor of mercy and strength to accomplish hear my word and follow it closely when you do this i will be with you every step of the way when you allow me to direct your every step you can be assured that you will accomplish so much more than you could have ever done on your own. Look to me for the strength to accomplish my purposes. Um, 
Yeah, when you allow me to direct your every step, you can be assured that you will accomplish so much more than you could have ever done on your own. Boy, that is so true. Look to me for the strength to accomplish my purposes. The verse given is Proverbs 16, 3 in the NASB. Commit your works to the Lord and your plans will be established. Jonas Bolin. Okay, and that's all for this that came out. I guess that would have been Friday, the 13th. No, Saturday, because this is the 15th. Okay. So I hope one of those two or all of those were some kind of encouragement or something you needed to hear. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over each and every one of us, our devices, and our internet connection. And with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you again soon.